Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass. <sighs> oh, and it is cold and windy and wet and foggy and I have a 30 pound bag attached to my arm uh, under this camera and my boots have no traction so I slip and slide in the snow. Let's see if we can make a video under those extreme circumstances. I wanted to talk a little bit about suicide. Why? Probably because that's what they're pumping into my head day and night. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I have, uh, first of all, I have a, a theological uh, objection. I have an objection based on theological or spiritual religious, whatever the frick you want to call it, terms. It says, God has not given me permission to kill myself. God tells me that, hey, I know you're suffering. I know full well you're suffering. And it could be worse. But you don't have the right to kill yourself. I made you. It's my right. You know. And that can be real disappointing. It can be real frustrating. You know, how are you going to argue with, the, the, with that, you know? Um, excuse me. But, <sighs> the truth of the matter is, the, the secularists and the, uh, the euthanasists and the uh, you know the Jack Kevorkians of this world who I don't know what his deal was man. Uh, in one sense he was a hero and the other sense he was a kook now I've watched the, the video the movie that they made supposedly portraying his life and I'm sure it's fairly accurate except for a lot of things but it does give you a few good ways to kill yourself uh, helium being the easiest tank of helium put a bag over your head turn it on breathe it in keep breathing and uh, soon that will be it um, there's a few other ways they give you in that movie. Uh, he would inject them with some salt, I forget which one. Stop the heart. You know, pretty simple stuff. Pretty basic stuff. And, and see, his thing was, he wanted the people, uh, because of the law, and you know, all these people who say, you don't have the right to take your own life. Only the state has the right. Only the state has the right to take your life and allow you to, you know, only the state can torture you. Only the state can throw you in prison or the federal government. Only they can have cops shoot you to death or military people torture you and murder you. Only they can do it. You don't have a right to choose your own destiny. That's what they tell us. And they're those crazy nurses and doctors who who see so much pain and suffering, and they say, you know what? I've had enough of this. And they start offing people, one or two at a time, you know. But uh, where does it stop, you know? If you start choosing who's suffering and who's gonna die, you know, then uh, you're God. And you ain't God, brother. So, uh, I don't know. I think that a human being should have the right, nay, the privilege and right, you know, to uh, choose their own demise. 
Now, this is all probably part of this New World Order shit. You know, the, the Bender future world where you can just go into the suicide booth and, and drop 50 cents and, uh, and whatever. But, uh, listen, folks. The stuff that says there are too many people in this world is a lie. The things that say, tell you, people that tell you there's not enough resources for everybody, they're lying. The ones who say, possibly how deal with all these drug addicts and, and mentally ill people and old people and sick people, they're lying. Uh, there's been a lot of lies told to the public recently, and most people believe them. I don't know why. Uh, I know why, because we're in a society that's used to believing the lies. We've been programmed to believe the lies, and uh, so that's what we do. We believe the lies. Why think for yourself? Still, these people make it so hard, you know, like, like, uh, if I want to pull a Seymour Philip Hoffman, who do I call? You know, I can't call my local drug dealer, because, first of all, I don't know any, and second of all, uh, from my past experience, I couldn't kill myself with that crap if I tried. So then we have pharmaceutical medications. Well, is there a doctor dumb enough to prescribe me enough crap to kill myself with? Or am I going to end up drinking bleach or some shit? Which I'm not stupid enough to do. You know? I, I don't have the connections. I don't have the money to, to kill myself properly, comfortably, painlessly. You know? You see what kind of insanity this is? And no, putting a gun to my head and blowing my brains out the other side isn't going to help much either. You know, granted, you can do it. It's easy. There's fucking guns everywhere. No problem. I can make one myself and make it out of, you know, blow myself up. There's a million ways to do this. But that's not the point. The point is, I have not been given the right nor permission. It's not up to me. And so, what happens now? We're left suffering, trying to get some relief until God decides it's time for us to go. Now, how could getting some relief be a bad thing? Let me ask you that. My grandmother lived to be like 98. And for the last 15 years of her life, she couldn't get off the couch. She couldn't wipe her own butt. She couldn't go to the bathroom, she couldn't feed herself, she didn't remember anybody. But she remembered how to pray to God that he would please take her life. He said, she said, please God, end this agony for me, I'm done here, please take me home. And that went on for years, years and years, until finally, it was her time. You know? And what does that tell you about the world and America and Europe and society and programming and civilization all the crap they're trying to tell us is so freaking important when this wonderful woman would lay on the couch for years suffering to die waiting to die because what she didn't have the guts to say you know somebody please come and help me she didn't have the, the connections, she didn't have the, the wherewithal, she didn't have, you know, me in her life, or what, she didn't have, you know, who knows, I don't know. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. God bless you.